Hello viewers, I am Deepthi Hans. Today we are going to discuss ICSC Specimen Question Paper Biology 2023. We are going to discuss Section B today. In Section B, we have total Six questions out of these, the student has to attempt four questions only. In question number three, first part is define guttation. The process by which excess of water is forced out directly from the tips of the veins of the leaf to hide our thoughts. This is common in banana, strawberry, fern, tomato, etc. Especially early morning during humid environmental conditions. In second part, Give one difference between lenticels and stomata. Lenticels are located on the stems of woody plants. Stomata, they are located on the lower surface of a dicot leaf and both upper and lower surface of a monocot leaf. They lose water vapor and process is called lenticular transpiration. They lose water vapor and process is termed as stomatal transpiration through which max maximum amount of transpiration takes place. Third part is defined parthenocarpy and give one example. Development of fruits without fertilization is called parthenocarpy. Auxins, plant hormones can induce fruit formation by parthenocarpy in apples, tomatoes and bananas. Keywords of definitions are very important. For example, in guttation, our keywords are hydrothoids and excess of water is forced out. In lenticels, woody plants is our keyword, stems of woody plants. Here lower surface of dicot leaf, lose water vapor, not water, water vapor is coming out. Here water is coming out, here water vapor is coming. And here without fertilization is a keyword. These keywords are very important in your definition if you want to score full mark. Part number 4 is state Mendel's law of segregation. The two members of a pair of factors separate during the formation of gametes. During the formation of gametes, they do not blend, rather they separate and then combine together by random fusion at the time of zygote formation. This is Mendel's law of segregation. In fifth part, there is a diagram given, given below. This is the diagram. You can see oil surface on the surface, oil on the surface of uh, water in the test tube. And then a shoot is immersed in this water and Carefully observe that there are no roots shown in the diagram. If roots are shown, then this process is absorption of water by roots. But here no roots are shown, only shoot is given. So this is the process. First part, name, uh, process being studied in the experiment. So this is transpiration because no roots. B part, what will you observe with regard to the level of water when this setup is placed in bright sunlight? When this setup is placed in bright sunlight, the level of water will lower, reduces, which indicates loss of water by the shoot due to transpiration because due to oil on the surface, no water is lost due to evaporation. In C part, mention one adaptation found in plants to overcome the process mentioned in part 1. It means transpiration. We know sun can stomata and narrow leaves are present in nerium plant. These are the adaptations by plant. Coming to question number 4, first part is expand the abbreviation ATP. We know adenosine triphosphate. Abbreviation ATP. Next is name any two nitrogenous base. We know the structure of DNA, structure of nucleotide and in which Nitrogenous bases are any two you can write adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. Addition of salt to pickles prevent the growth of bacteria explained by giving two suitable reasons. Now hypertonic solution of salt, first keyword is hypertonic solution of salt causes the plasmolysis of bacteria. So they cannot grow in such an unfavorable environment. Second. When bacteria come in contact with salt, it undergoes exosmosis and becomes flaccid, leading to its death. Next is 
mentioned two adaptations in leaves to perform photosynthesis. We know large surface area for maximum light absorption and leaf arrangement at right angle to the light source. Then numerous stomata on the surface of leaf. All these are adaptations by leaves to perform photosynthesis. In last part of question number 4, diagram is given representing a stage during the metatric cell division. Answer the following questions. First is identify the stage. So, this stage is early prophase. Give a suitable reason for your answer. You can see centrioles are moving apart. And then chromosomes, you can see visible, they become distinct and spindle fibers appear between two daughter centrioles. Next, name the stage that follows the one shown in diagram because this is early prophase, after this obviously late prophase, but this is the same phase. And next stage is metaphase. You can remember these phases with the help of a keyword which is IP mat. IP mat is intraphase, this is prophase, this is metaphase, this is anaphase, and this is telophase. This is the keyword to remember the sequence of these phases of mitotic division. In question number 5, first part is defined excretion. Excretion is the removal of harmful and unwanted, basically nitrogenous waste, mainly nitrogenous waste products from the body is known as excretion. Second part is what is the significance of hepatic portal vein? It is a blood vessel that carries blood from the intestine, spleen, pancreas and gallbladder to the liver. This vein carries maximum glucose. It also drains poisons which are detoxified in the liver. Now in third part, state two functions of vitreous humor. Functions are, it helps in keeping the shape of the eyeball. It protects the retina and its nerve endings. In fourth part, which gland secretes glucagon? So, glucagon is secreted by the alpha cells in our pancreas. What is its effect on blood sugar level? It raises the sugar level in the blood because it stimulates the breakdown of glycogen to glucose in our liver. Next is draw a neat label diagram to show the internal structure of a human kidney. This is the structure of a human kidney. This is cortex, dotted structure is cortex in which PCT and Bowman's capsule lie. And then these are pyramids, this lighter portion is medulla, this is papilla, this is cup shaped pelvis and this tube is known as ureter which carries urine to the urethra. In question number 6 part 1 define gene. These are the specific sequences of nucleotides on a chromosome that encode particular proteins which express in the form of some particular feature of the body. Second part is differentiate between cell wall and cell membrane. Cell wall is thin, cell membrane is very thin. Cell wall is permeable. Permeable means it allows water molecules and dissolved substances freely in and out. Cell membrane is semi permeable, it means it allows water molecules to pass through but does not allow sub larger molecules to pass through it. It means it is selectively permeable. In third part, state the function of medulla oblongata with a suitable example. To control the activities of internal organ, for example, beating of heart, breathing and many other involuntary actions in our body are performed by medulla oblongata. We all know any injury to medulla oblongata results to death. In part number 4, color blindness is generally seen in males. Explain. We know color blindness is a X-linked recessive disease. It is common in males because female have two copies of X chromosome because we know XX is concerned with female and males have only one X chromosome because one is X and one is Y. Next part, diagram is given, identify the structure. This is the part of the human ear. In which part of the ear is it located? In the inner part of human ear. What is the function of part marked A? A part is semicircular canals and they respond to the change in the position. That means it is concerned with the sense of dynamic balance when the body is in motion, not static balance. In question number 7, the first part is explain accommodation of eye. 
the process of focusing the eye to see objects at different distances is called accommodation for distant vision the lens is more flattened more flattened and for near vision the lens is more rounded or you can say more convex when more convex near vision is clear for far vision we need to accommodate the lens more flattened or more straight in second part give two reasons for a sharp rise in world popul human population first in industrial revolution and next is new discovery in medical science you can explain these points on your own in third mention two functions of amniotic fluid first it protects the embryo from physical damage for example jerks or if accident happens then second is it allows the fetus some restricted movement or uh, prevent the fetus from sticking to the amnion in fourth part what is the difference between phenotype and genotype phenotype is the observable characteristic this is the keyword here observable characteristic which is genetically controlled and genotype is a set of genes present in the cells of an organism so phenotype designates the external appearance of the body and genotype it determines the characters of the body in question number 7 part 5 draw neat label diagrams showing the cross sections of an artery and a vein we know the main difference lie in between artery and the vein is wider lumen if wider lumen then this is a vein and narrower lumen then this is artery next is external layer which is a connective tissue then this middle layer which is a smooth muscle and elastic fibers and then endothelium and this is the lumen wider and narrower this is wider and this is narrower the main difference is this and thin thick muscular walls then this is artery thin and less muscular walls then this is a vein in question number 8 part 1 is define pollution it means addition of any harmful substance to air water or land which deteriorates the quality of environment is known as pollution second part plants droop on a hot day even though the soil is well watered explain because we know on a hot day rate of transpiration exceeds the rate of water absorption by root it means leaves collapse and plants wilt during a hot summer day third is differentiate between menarche and menopause menarche is the onset of menstruation and menopause is the stoppage of menstruation for second number you can write the age in menarche the age is uh, 13 years near about 13 year and for menopause uh, age is near about 45 fourth part say to harmful effects of acid rain damage to the vegetation by pollution of soil damage to the monuments marble cancer you can all, uh, write all these points in this in last fifth part uh, diagram is given and uh, show a type of tropism name the type of tropism this is chemotropism shown here define the above mentioned tropism due to chemicals this uh, tropism is due to chemicals and give an example of a stimulant that helps in the growth of a part uh, marked a a is pollen grain and the stimulant is oxins here on the request of many of my viewers i have made this specimen answer key of biology paper keep watching and sharing with your fellow students thank you